Joining us now to make some sense of the politics of the economy is syndicated columnist David Sirota. David, thank you so much for coming back on the show. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Rachel. Is it your view that President Obama has enough political capital right now that he could campaign on a spending heavy policy purist bill, just ignore the Republican counterproposals and get it passed if he wanted to? Well, if you take the Republicans at their word, uh, they think he does. Uh, you've seen a lot of stories lately that where you have uh, uh, people like Mitch McConnell, uh, Republican uh, operatives, saying that if Barack Obama and the Democrats want to pass the stimulus, they can do it right now. So the question is, why is Obama and the Democrats, why are they so uh, adamant about uh, finding Republican support and in the process being willing to potentially water down the economic stimulus package with tax cuts that we know won't create the kind of job that more infrastructure spending would. Well, what do you think the answer to that is? Is this a political, is this a, a, a political strategy decision that's about retaining political capital for future fights? Is there a reason to believe that the Republicans could ever come along on the stimulus package? Well, the, the question is, is what is the cost of political aesthetics? What are the Democrats willing to force uh, the taxpayers to pony up in order to get a majority of the Republicans to vote for this thing? Uh, on Again, how much do we have to spend on tax cuts uh, uh, that don't work in order to get that political aesthetics? Uh, it's, it's a bad question. I, I think the, the political strategy behind it is flawed. I think it's the idea that if, if Obama and the Democrats get some Republicans or a majority the Republicans to support this, then the Republicans won't blame them uh, for the economy not doing well in 2009. I think that's ridiculous. Uh, I think that the problem here is that you don't have a lot of $825 billion tranches in your kitty, and so you've got to spend every dollar as best as possible. Every dollar wasted on a tax cut to appease a Republican in a way that won't create jobs is a dollar that should have gone to real programs like infrastructure that would create jobs. Well on the Republican side of this, are the Republicans setting a sort of political trap for the president here? I mean, is there any stimulus bill that they would vote for? Is, is there good faith negotiation going on? It's it's hard to know, and 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 we can't know. But but you're right that the Republicans have a have a twofer here. They can advocate for their right wing ideology that's been flawed, that was rejected at the at the polls. They can appease their base, and if they manage to get concessions that weaken the stimulus bill and make it worse, make it not as effective in lifting the economy, they can effectively sabotage the economy and then wipe their hands of it, blame Obama for that. It's it, it's a, a brilliant political strategy by them. What's not brilliant, what's, what's perplexing is why would Democrats play into this? You're right. They have a huge uh, amount of political capital. They could pass this. And let's, re let's just remember one thing. If Franklin Roosevelt had worried about getting the majority of Republicans to pass Social Security or Lyndon Johnson, the majority of Republicans, to pass Medicare, we probably wouldn't have those things. We need the Democrats to act boldly now. David, one last question for you. The Senate has now put out its version of the stimulus bill. We had the House version first, now we've got the Senate version. It contains about the same relatively low level of infrastructure spending as the House version did. Do, do you think that this is going to be the final bill? Do you think it's too late in the game to expect that these bills might change substantially, that there might be more infrastructure spending, for example? Well, I, I've, I've been pleased to see that a lot of Democrats, rank-and-file Democrats, have stood up and said, we need more, this needs to be a bigger package, it needs to be more infrastructure spending. I think the public needs to call its members of Congress and tell them we shouldn't waste this, this uh, moment uh, on, on tax cuts. Uh, the longer the negotiations go on, I think, the more chance there is for this to get better. I don't think it's over by a long shot. The only way it's over is if Barack Obama and the Democrats keep insisting that their goal is not to pass the best package, but to appeal these Republicans. That's just not going to do it. David Sirota, syndicated columnist, friend of the show. Nice to see you. Thanks, David. Thanks for having me, Rachel.